One and a half million Americans over age 60 have life-threatening abdominal aortic aneurysms. Most don't know it until they rupture. Each year, there are 15,000 deaths. In tonight's Health Watch, we meet a man who's lucky to be alive. And JN News health and medical correspondent Sara Lee Kessler has the story. Uh, I think it's good news that uh, aneurysm is shrinking and you in good shape. Very good. That 66-year-old Bill Neefsey, a retired Elizabeth Fire Chief, is alive today is nothing short of a miracle. After suffering severe back pain last fall, Neefsey called his doctor at Trinitas Hospital, who scheduled an MRI to look for spinal problems. He found a giant abdominal aortic aneurysm. His aneurysm is about larger than this baseball in my hand. Surgeon Jung Sung Tai points it out on this MRI. This aneurysm does push in the nerve in this area, causing great deal of discomfort in the back area. Even more important, aneurysms like this are deadly. They can rupture at a moment's notice. I knew it was serious. And when a doctor says you're going into the hospital tomorrow, I, he thought it was serious too. Because the aorta is the body's prime supplier of blood, a ruptured aortic aneurysm can cause life-threatening bleeding. A lot of people uh, collapse in the supermarket, collapse in the street, and they didn't even make it to the emergency room. But Neefsi's aneurysm was discovered in time, so his surgeon, in an operation like this, was able to go in through the groin area to fix the aneurysm before it ruptured. X-ray fluoroscopy guided a mesh stent toward the trouble spot. So the blood flow will flow into this stent rather than go into the aneurysm. A simple device like this saved Bill's life. Absolutely. It was a miracle that it, the way it was uh, found and, and then the way it was uh, taken care of. Risk factors for abdominal aortic aneurysms include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, obesity, emphysema, genetic factors, and male gender. Ultrasound screening like this is recommended for men over 65 and anyone with a history of arterial disease. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Elizabeth.